Jane. And my name is Madison. And my name is Hallie. Today is Tuesday, January 16th, and it is a red day. Here are today's announcements. On this day in history, it's 1547, Ivan the Terrible was crowned Tsar and Grand Prince of all Russia. Today is National Fig Newton Day. Go eat this yummy snack today. Are you a trivia pro? Come join us for the first ever HBT Library Trivia Day. It will be held tomorrow during lunch period. Students are permitted to bring their lunch. Team Mrs. Benson will sign up. Teams will be made and prizes will be given out. Attention all seventh grade boys interested in playing volleyball. Tryouts will take place today through Thursday. 3, 4, 30 in the Auxerre Gym. You must sign up on Family ID in order to try out. See you there. Today, a wise person said, I cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by invading it today. Fun fact, humans are the only animals with chins. Joke of the day, why is it so easy to drink away with the falling? They fall for anything! Hi, I'm Luke Kossoff, and this is In the Halls of Luke. First things first, what inspired you to become an art teacher? Well, I've been drawing ever since I was a little girl. Um, I love children, and I love teaching kids, and seeing their faces light up when they finally get a concept of how to draw something is really awesome. I, I really love that, like, just doing that, doing it for the kids. Did you also want to be an art teacher, or did you want to be something else, too? I think just like most people, you have lots of dreams and things that you want to do. Um, I love being an art teacher. I also love fitness. I love to cook. I love to ice skate. And so there's, there's always lots of dreams. But uh, one of my newest dreams was to become a, a children's book author. Nice. I did read that book. Very well done. Well, that. We read your book in FCS, and I love the artwork. But why? Actually, they're alligators. Um, but I wanted to choose something that wasn't typical to, of an animal. Um, they are mirrored after my parents. My children call them Mimi and Poppy. Um, and so I wanted to create something that was original. Oh, gee, I like that. What inspired you to write the book? Was it based on personal experiences? So yes, like I said, it was based on my parents um, and my love for baking with my mom and now seeing that with my children, um, I wanted to highlight the importance of grandparents. I, yeah. How do you stay motivated when something you are doing creatively doesn't come out the way you want? I think having an artist's brain and always wanting things to look better and never having that moment of that something's actually finished, but sometimes you just have to say, I'm done. It's a mamba mentality, gotta love it. What do you want the, the students of HBT to know? About me. Um, that all I ever want from them is to try their best, to be their best, and to be there for others. You, you heard it. Here, folks, thanks for talking with me today, Miss Courtright. Watch out for the next episode of In the Halls of Luke. You may see some familiar faces in the next one, just a heads up. This is Luke Kossoff, Mrs. Courtright, signing out. Bro, what is this tie? It's like a headband. It's not rocket science. Luke, you're putting the tie on before you got your clothes on, man. <sighs> there are an announcement out this morning. Have a Tuesday.